Okay. So welcome, Mr. Brooks here. We're going to show you how to make a terrain inside of Unity for our current project, which is make an environment for our original characters so they can be animated inside of it. Okay, so we got an empty scene here, empty project, and I'm going to go ahead and just make a new 3D object. So game object menu, 3D object. We're going to make a terrain. Terrain. Okay, so as soon as you create that, it creates this enormous white plane, flat plane, and your camera is all the way at the corner of it. Okay, so this huge area is going to be our world, all right? And with terrain selected over in the inspector, we can start creating everything. So usually start off with the paint terrain tool. And we want to choose what function we want. So let's start with uh, raise or lower terrain. Okay, and it gives us these built-in brushes that we can use to actually paint on the terrain. So I'm going to pick something kind of broken up, rocky looking, maybe like this. Actually, no, let's start off with something just more rounded in the beginning, something like the first brush. Okay, so, <clears throat> so let's start off by making our brush a little bigger. So this little slider down here says brush size. I'll just drag that up some so it's a, quite a bit bigger. And I'm just going to kind of paint a border around our world so that the character can't walk off the edge of the world. So I just start painting and look what happens. It, it just raises that up. And I'm doing that just by left dragging over it. So you may see some weird artifacting happening, like that blue that just came in. That's just the, uh, the real-time light mapper trying to bake light maps for us. Oops. If you accidentally unselect it like I just did, just go choose terrain again, and you can keep painting away. Okay, so Dylan's going to place his character somewhere in the center of this world, and what we're doing is just creating a background or an environment for him to be in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch brushes to something a little more rocky looking, something like this. Okay, and you've also got opacity. Opacity is just kind of how strong your brush is. So I'm going to turn that down quite a bit, just so that when I use this, it's not real strong looking. Okay, so I'm just kind of clicking away here, putting some rough texture on the ground, something like this. Okay, so next, before we kind of go on any further to changing this, let's adjust our light a little bit, because right now everything's just kind of blown out white looking. So um, we just want to select the directional light, which is in your scene by default, and get the rotation tool at the top. Might have to zoom out some to actually see the light controls. So they're over here. And they're actually below our terrain, kind of at the corner. So I'm just going to move that light more towards the center of the map. Might have to move your camera around a lot to see where that's going. Okay, maybe a little closer. So we just want to be able to see the directional light and the terrain at the same time. 
If you get lost, just select your terrain and hit the F key to frame in on it. Okay. So now let's get that rotation tool, make sure our directional light is selected. And I'm just going to rotate it around a little bit until my terrain starts looking a little better. So I'm just rotating it down. There we go. Okay. So now we can kind of see the terrain a little better. Something like this. All right, so there's a lot more you can do with this. Um, let's go back into our paint terrain tool and let's look at some, a few of these other ones. Um, we don't need to create neighbor terrains. That's, that's if you're making a world is bigger than this and we don't need to do that. Um, you've got paint texture, set height, smooth height. So let's go to smooth height and just switch back to our first brush. So smooth will do exactly what it sounds like. It'll let you kind of smooth out an area. Turn up the opacity on that. So as I paint over this, you can see that that area is getting smoother. So maybe want an area in the middle here that's a little smoother that we're going to paint some grass on. Okay, so let's say this is maybe the main area we're going to put our player. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this really short and not go too much into detail. Let's go ahead and set height. So as I paint set height, you'll notice it goes all the way down to exactly where the original height was. So this lets you kind of clear out an area that you want to be flat. That looks good. Okay. Um, so now let's jump to paint texture, all right? And in order to actually paint on, you know, some grass or dirt onto this terrain and not be white like that, we do need to have some textures in the scene. So if I go to edit terrain layers and create a layer, it's going to ask me to create a 2D texture. And I don't exactly have any of those textures in here yet. So this is where we need to import some stuff into our project. So let me just pull this up here. And we're just going to right click on assets. And we're going to import package. Actually, that's not where they are now. They changed it. So let me switch this over to one column. All right, so we do need to actually access the package manager to get these textures. So window, package manager. So this package manager is a bunch of stuff that's put out by Unity that you can add into your projects. Really good stuff. So let's go here to built-in packages. And terrain is what we're looking for. Maybe environments. See where they put it. That's interesting. They move the terrain textures somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, well, once you do get the textures into your project, it's just going to be the same thing. You're going to be using paint terrain, and you're just going to be painting that texture right onto this. Um, I will put a link to where to get to the actual textures as soon as I see where it is.
on this one. Oops, didn't mean to make that. Don't need a sprite atlas. So it used to be where you, you could actually just right click and import the package environment, but it's not there anymore. So let's see where it went. Those are all there. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to the asset store then. The asset store is a great place to get all kinds of stuff for your projects. Let's just type in terrain texture. And then we'll just sort by price down to zero. Apply. Okay, so here's some free terrain textures we can get. I guess let's just go with the first one. Snowy ground. You do have to have a Unity account to be able to download stuff from the asset store, but it's totally free. Mm-hmm. Indeed. No Bruce Willis. Yep. That's your cousin. No. <laughs> Josh, you know I'm recording a demonstration right now. Really? Yeah. Okay, so it's all downloaded, and then we're going to import it into the project. So import. There we go. So the asset store is amazing. There's so much good stuff on there, and you can almost always just search for something and sort it to free and find good stuff on there to use. Even if it's just like a placeholder until you make the rest. All right, so back to our terrain. We've got some paint textures in here now that we can use. So we're going to go to our paint texture tool. And inside the edit terrain layers, we're going to add a layer. Or create layer and select our 2d texture so let's just go for the first one and you notice immediately our terrain changes and is filled with that texture so if we get in really close here you can see it's got that texture on it all right so now let's make another one another layer and we'll paint in this area right here so edit terrain layers Add a layer. Actually, create a layer. Sorry. Create layer. And we'll go for something that looks different. Most of these are pretty similar, but we'll just choose this one. Okay. And now, when I choose this one, I can paint that texture on directly. Something like that. So whenever the terrain goes dark like that, when I started painting, it's actually recalculating the light maps. It just kind of does that automatically. You can turn that off if you want, but I suggest just leaving it on. Okay, so now this area in the middle has got a different terrain texture on it. And you can add as many of those as you want and paint all different areas. This is not a beautiful terrain. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. You, of course, will spend a lot more time and make it beautiful. Okay, so we've gone through most of the tools, set height, paint texture, raise or lower the terrain, smoothing it. Uh, stamp terrain does exactly how it sounds. It'll actually just stamp in that area. 
So let's turn that stamp height up some right there. And just stamp that in. See what that did. If we look at it from above, it looks like the stamp. Okay. So lastly, let's go to these other tabs. So paint trees. This is just like the terrain or the textures, we would have to go download some trees to use. So add trees and then you can add them in. We don't actually have any in our scene, but this would allow you to paint trees onto your terrain. Again, you can go download some of those if you want to do it. Same with any other details. So you could load like rocks or flowers into here, and then you could paint them onto the terrain. Okay, so that's the basics of how to create a terrain environment inside of Unity. There is, of course, a lot more detail to it in here. But that's really all you need to know for this simple project to create an environment for your character. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Dylan, I hope that made at least some sense.